Hello everybody, this is Amirash and today I've come up with the biology plan for NEET 2025 and 2026 aspirants. I hope you are doing amazing and today we'll be discussing the exact strategy which will help you score 360 out of 360 in NEET 2025 or 2026 biology. Guys, we'll have to understand that biology is becoming very very important these days to score full marks in we cannot take the risk of even a single question because one wrong question takes us away from our dream medical college this has been proven this year this has happened with me i won't be getting into the top medical colleges because i got two mcqs wrong in biology this year and ended up at 350 marks which makes me feel bad because if i'd scored these two questions correct i would have got 10 marks more which means maybe thousand two thousand three thousand um rank more so it's very important to score highest in biology before starting with the strategy let me present a few facts first fact says that currently in need the competition is at its peak so if you've seen a mountain at one point the peak comes i feel that this is the time when need has reached its peak time in NEET 2025, I am expecting 25 plus lakh candidates to uh, appear for the examination. And with this much of competition, what is the conclusion is that at 625 marks, the rank might be around 20K from next year. And this will be the cutoff for the general category. So if you want the best colleges, you need to score 670 plus. And contribution of biology will be 360 in it. So we need to try getting full marks in this subject. Let's see how we can do. First of all, biology is our savior. Reason is that bio is our favorite subject, right? Even if we are weak with physics and chemistry, bio we all can manage. So bio is first of all very easy, right? You can do it easily because it's theory based. There are very few or no numericals. Concepts are easy to tackle and it is very less time consuming. Like if one chapter of physics takes two hours, I feel one chapter of bio will take 30 minutes with that respect. So relatively, I'm thinking if a physics chapter takes to us, bio will take 30 minutes. So four times less time. Okay, and bio is probably the reason for choosing PCB because you, if you were a physics chemistry lover, you could have chosen PCM as well. But you chose PCB for this subject. And it is doctor's only subject as a doctor. You will be studying biology along with concepts of chemistry and physics. Okay, now 360 out of 360 becomes very essential, just a second, very essential to stay in the race. In the race means most of the students do not have the command over physics as well as chemistry. So if you want that to happen, you'll have to ensure marks in biology. See, if your physics or chemistry is average or weak, then please target 360 in bio. Please read NCRT again and again and again and again. I'll tell you how you need to read NCRT. Okay, 150 in each subject if you are doing, then only 360 will help. Um, let's say if you're getting 360 in bio and 150 in each, that is 300 in total. So 660 you will reach, which is around 10K to 12K rank in 2025. This year it might be 6, 6 to 7K, I think. 6k to 7k this year but next year it will increase a lot i'm telling you the 660 is also not a good score um, as per the cutoff as we are thinking see in ncrt if i say every line is important because they can change a word to make statement based question right in statement based question what are they doing they're basically changing a word replacing it with something else to make the statement incorrect so basically it's true false kind of thing now, whether the statement is true or false and they can be confusing at times. Secondly, assertion and reason, which is based on concept. If you're able to relate two things. If you're able to relate two things, then assertion reasoning will be very, very simple for you. Third thing to remember here is direct CRT lines. That is your one word type of questions that um, any one word will be given to you and you have to answer accordingly. So for tackling all these three type of questions, we need NCRT. What should be the approach in biology? Please remember that. What should be your approach? Number one thing you need to attend your lecture, be it online or offline. If you are a dropper, then attend lectures of your week topics. 
only of your weak topics you need to attend the lectures make the notes if you have time making notes is optional not compulsory because you can directly read it from ncrt let's say in plant kingdom i even if i don't make the notes it will work for me right because plant kingdom is little theoretical ncrt has to be read after two times once your class is over so for instance um, i'm studying biomolecules at my coaching so after biomolecules finishes i will be reading its notes i will be reading ncrt two times and marking the lines which are absent in notes now there are some of the other lines which are skipped in the teacher's notes so you need to mark them in your ncrt right highlight them let's say if one line is not mentioned in the notes i'll quickly highlight that line so this will help me a lot isn't it after that you're solving dpp or any practice sheet which is provided to you by your coaching institute then limited question practice is needed in bio 100 to 120 mcqs for a chapter will be sufficient because bio is a theoretical subject again i should say stick to the pyqs and ncrt oriented mcqs that will only help okay you can also follow my biology series for 11th and 12th need i have already um, done animal kingdom till platy helmet this so if you want more videos do let me know in the comment section and one very important announcement that i wanted to make that physics formula sheet has been cancelled reason is that the i left studying physics on 4th of may the last time i applied physics was on 5th of may and say it's 20 sorry 24th of may so there has been a gap of 19 days because of which i've started forgetting and it's becoming very difficult for me to do it so physics i won't be able to help you i'll definitely help you in biology and chemistry so for these two subjects i'll help you to score at least these 540 marks physics you'll have to do on your own ncrt booster also i'll bring don't worry in which we'll form mcqs from every line of ncrt let's i'll just teach you a little come with me wait a second um let me teach you how to read ncrt let's just do it okay um, which chapter should we take? Let me take a certain chapter. Let's say body fluids and circulation. I'm taking. Okay. Okay. Let's say you're reading about the heart. How to read NCRT? I'm telling you very clearly. I'm telling you. Number one thing: when you've started reading your NCRT, first part, human circulatory system. What just happened? Human circulatory system. So it's about the heart, basically. Human circulatory system, also called the blood vascular system, consists of a muscular chambered heart, network of closed branch and blood vessels, and blood vessels, fluid which is circulated. So, mark the important point. Here, see, blood vascular system. So, human circulatory system is also called blood vascular system. It consists of muscular chambered heart. It means in my human circulatory system, there is a heart which consists of certain chambers and which is muscular. It means made up of some muscles, which are cardiac muscles, right? Network of closed branching blood vessels. Now they can change closed to open to make it an assertion reasoning, correct? This way you'll have to study. Okay, heart the mesodermally derived organ. So from the germ layer, the mesoderm germ layer gives rise to the heart situated in the thoracic cavity in between the two lungs slightly tilted towards the left this is the location of the heart they can directly ask you in the form of mcq so you must know the location right it has a size of a clenched fist clenched fist is like this this way every line has to be read see double wall membranous back called pericardium enclosing the pericardial fluid so basically it's double walled pericardium Pericardium is something which is very very important, right? Pericardial fluid, then atria, ventricles, all of this you need to remember. That's it. I need to look at every word. Every word is my target. Please do that. And for your information, I've scored 180 out of 180 in zoology. 170 out of 180 in botany. So 350 out of 360 I've got this year in bio. I can definitely help you out in that. And do like, share, and subscribe. 
If you liked it, I'll help you with bio thoroughly. We'll cover all the 32 chapters in the most effective way. I'll explain you the cardiac cycle in the next lecture. This one, my favorite. If I tell you the cardiac cycle, basically. Cardiac cycle, see this one. It's just the best. I'll explain that to you in the next session. I hope you liked it. Thank you.